Hello, my name is Caroline, and in this video, I'll show you how I made this hand washing timer that plays music for 20 seconds. With the global pandemic, I see both useful and funny COVID hacks invented everywhere. I thought I would jump in and make my own COVID life hack with a hand washing timer that is motion triggered and plays a 20 second music clip. Why 20 seconds? The health officials are recommending that we wash our hands often and for at least 20 seconds each time. I was thinking that I could print a nice case for this setup, put this in my bathroom near my soap, and then when I reach for my soap, I would motion trigger the music. There are 10 different songs that it can choose from each time it is triggered. Now, here's a quick demo. Now, let's get started. The materials you'll need for this project are, you'll need your Raspberry Pi. Now this project can be done on a Raspberry Pi 0W, a Pi 3 or a Pi 4 running the Raspbian operating system. If you choose to use this with a Raspberry Pi 0W, you'll need to solder on the header pins for the GPIO, or you can buy the version of the Raspberry Pi 0 with headers. You'll also need a motion sensor. And I bought a Pi Moroni speaker P hat. I found this at my local micro center. I bought it and after I bought it, I realized it had been discontinued. I apologize for making a video with a discontinued product. If you can't find the speaker P hat, I will publish another video later on where I do it without the P hat. You'll also need a micro SD card, power cable for your Pi, mouse, keyboard, HDMI monitor, any appropriate cables, dongles, depending on which model of Raspberry Pi that you're using. My first step was the hardware assembly. I soldered the speaker P hat together, then I soldered on the header pins to my Raspberry Pi 0W. Given all of the soldering I did for this project, I don't recommend this for a kid's project or anyone without any soldering experience. I would recommend starting with a different project and not this one as your first soldering project. Please don't burn yourself and be very careful when working with a soldering iron. Now, if you're not familiar with how to set up a fresh copy of the Raspbian operating system, I'll link to a video below where I'll show you step-by-step step how to do that. I am gonna do a little cheater step here. I'm going to set it up on my Raspberry Pi 4 because it will just go a little bit faster on the Raspberry Pi 4 and then the final project, I will just move the everything over onto my Raspberry Pi 0W. And here is my Raspberry Pi 4. And the first thing I do is I need my fresh copy of Raspbian and I'm gonna make sure my micro SD card is inserted. Now I've got an HDMI, go to my HDMI monitor, and then I've got my mouse and keyboard dongle, and then I need to line up my, my GPIO pins and put my hat on. I am including a wiring diagram for this. I've got three leads. The first one is the ground, and ground is going to pin a number six. Then the next one is the out, pin, which is going to pin number 11 on the GPIO. And then last but not least, the power, which is going to pin number two. And I've got all of that wired up together. Next step is to simply power up my Pi. There are 10 songs included on my GitHub page. These songs are all royalty free and I cut each clip into exactly 20 seconds myself. And welcome back. We are now to the screen record portion of this video. You should be able to see my screen now. And I'm gonna start out on the GitHub page repositories. This is my GitHub page. I will link to this in the description field below. And we are going to hand washing timer underscore music as our project today. And I've got everything. I'm just gonna go over the materials again. This is what my hat looked like before I soldered it together. And now we are done with the hardware assembly. So now we're gonna move right into the software install. And I'm gonna open up a terminal and I'm going to install the speaker P hat software. And the command line is right here. Go over, I'm gonna right click, copy, right click, paste. And we'll start by installing the speaker P hat. And do I wish to continue? Yes, I do. And this will take a few minutes and I will be right back. 
And now I'm up to the part where it says, do I wish to perform a full install? Yes, I do. Y, enter. And we are continuing with the install. I'll be right back. And now we have completed the install. Excellent. And it asked me if I'd like to reboot right now. I am going to say, yes, I would like to reboot. I'll be right back after the reboot. And we have completed the reboot. I am going to open up my Chromium browser again. I'm going to open up a terminal. And just to show you what's going on here, I'm also going to open up my file manager. When we last left off, we had installed the Pi Maroni software so that we could do the speaker hat. I'm going to double click on that just to show you what I installed. There are some now test files. Pi Maroni, speaker hat, and then test. And there are some test files. We can now try to play. Let's also go back to my GitHub page. We'll keep on following along on this journey. And I'm gonna go to my terminal and let's test, see, see if this works. So I'm gonna to go to VLC and I'm gonna play my test file. Right click copy, right click paste, enter. And it's playing, that's our song. And that is our song. That is the VLC player. We have successfully installed the speaker P hat on our Raspberry Pi. Congratulations. I just had this other step in there. If it doesn't work, you may need to install VLC. I think it is included. So I don't think you need to do that. I certainly didn't need to do that when I did this project. The next step is sudo pip install python VLC. Right click copy. And I'm gonna go to my terminal, right click paste. And this is now installing VLC for Python because we're running this through Python code. And I'll just take a minute to install. And there it is done. Now we want to get clone this repository so you can get the source code onto this Raspberry Pi. Right click, copy, right click, paste, enter. And now we're just cloning this GitHub repository with the 10 music files and the source code and the Python code all onto our Raspberry Pi. That was is done now. So now we want to CD into, if I, if I just hit LS just to show you, I've made a new folder called hand washing timer. That's where the, the GitHub repository is copied to. Right click, copy, paste. Now we're going to CD into there and LS. And so now you can see the different folders, the different Python scripts. So now we want to test to see if we can play music and hit enter. And look at that, we can now play music. And that is simply testing that we can play music through a Python script through VLC. And if I want to stop it, I'll hit okay. That works great. Okay, so now, the last step is to test the motion sensor with the music. And that script is at python.pir.py. Right click copy, right click paste, enter. And now, there it goes, it works. That was pretty easy. And now it's waiting 30 seconds. Let's look at test music first. Let's look at the code for test music. Or oh, this goes crazy on me here. Control C to stop it. Back to Genie. Import, that is for the little pop-up box, T-K-I-N-T-E-R. Import that, the message box, VLC, and then random, all right? So it is randomly choosing a song and playing it out of the music folder. And let's check out the music folder. And here are my 10 songs. I just labeled them one through 10. They're kind of random. Uh, so my code is picking a random number, integer, between 1 and 10, and then I just put it into a string, and it plays that random song when I am testing out the music. So that was the first script we ran, just to see how that goes. And then the next one is pir.py. Open that with Genie, just to show you how that works. We are doing time, we're doing requests, VLC, random. This is where we are looking at the GPIO. That's the input into this motion sensor. And then we are waiting for the motion sensor to settle. And then we've got a state. If there's no motion, it's, 
it's in state zero. And then once it senses the motion, then it changes that state and it plays that song. It, it triggers playing a random song like you saw in the first script, testmusic.py. And that is it. That's the entire project to get it to work. Now to get it to work, you have to run the command Python PY. All right. So you probably don't want to do that. Hook up a mouse and a keyboard and a monitor every single time you want to turn off and on this Raspberry Pi with your speaker hat. So in order to make it auto boot, then we go to the next set of instructions on my GitHub page here, and we're going to modify the bash file, copy, paste, and then we just go down to the bottom of our bash file and we're going to add the command sudo python and where it is paste that's it Control x to exit y to save enter and now let's reboot and we have rebooted our computer and we haven't run any commands on it and let's see if the motion sensor works there it is And now it should start every single time you boot up your Pi. And I hope you like my selection of royalty free music. And now I'm going to shut down my Raspberry Pi and then just plug it all into a Raspberry Pi Zero. And then we can just use a Raspberry Pi Zero instead of a Raspberry Pi 4. Here's our Raspberry Pi 4. We had everything working. I have shut down my Raspberry Pi 4 unplug it, take out the micro SD card, remove the speaker hat, let's get our Raspberry Pi Zero out, put in the same micro SD card, and then let's line up all of our GPI opens correctly, push down, and now let's power up our Pi, and it should start working. It already detected the motion, all right, so it automatically started. And now let's try it with motion. And there it goes. The hand washing timer is now auto booting on a Raspberry Pi Zero W with headers. And there's my 20 second hand washing timer. I hope you enjoyed this project. I publish new tutorials every week. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye now.